In just nine minutes, get 10 powerful takeaways from the two-hour conversation between Dr. Alan Goldhamer and Stephen Bartlett on The Diary of a CEO. Goldhamer reveals a surprising link between fasting and cancer, how it reverses chronic illness, and why belly fat burns first. Stay till the end. You won't want to miss this. Takeaway 1. The Surprising Link Between Fasting and Cancer Dr. Alan Goldhamer shared one of the most eye-opening insights in this conversation. He explained that fasting does not just help with weight or energy, but also plays a role in the fight against cancer. When the body is in a fasting state, damaged cells and even some cancerous cells are broken down through a natural process. He gave the example of a young woman with lymphoma who chose to fast under supervision instead of continuing chemotherapy. During a three-week water-only fast, her tumors became smaller to the point that they were no longer detectable. At the one-year mark, she was still cancer-free, and after 10 years, she remained healthy as long as she stuck to a plant-based diet free of salt, oil, and sugar. Dr. Goldhamer said doctors at first dismissed her case as a lucky remission, but when her recovery lasted years and other patients showed similar results, they could not ignore it. He also mentioned a man with stage 4 lymphoma who had failed chemotherapy but improved dramatically after two extended fasts. While he was careful to point out that fasting is not a cure, he explained that it can give the body a chance to heal in ways that medicine alone sometimes cannot. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway 2. Fasting helps with many chronic illnesses. Moving beyond cancer, Dr. Goldhamer described how fasting has shown results for people struggling with diabetes, high blood pressure, and autoimmune diseases. At his True North Health Center, over 25,000 people have gone through supervised water-only fasting and many reverse long-standing conditions. He said that in one study, 174 people with hypertension all normalized their blood pressure without drugs. Patients with autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis or ulcerative colitis also improved because fasting removed the constant load of digestion and allowed the body to repair itself. For example, a man who had been on multiple medications for high blood pressure for years came to the center, fasted for two weeks, and was able to stop all medication. A year later, he was still stable just by following a simple plant-based diet. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway three, how the body changes its fuel. Dr. Goldhamer explained in simple terms how fasting works inside the body. Normally, the brain runs on glucose from food, but when a person stops eating and uses up stored sugar in the liver and muscles, the body switches to burning fat. This switch is what allows people to survive without food for long periods. He said that a 70-kilogram man can live for up to 70 days without food because the brain adapts to run on ketones, which are made from fat. This is not about starving, but about the body's built-in survival design. For example, within the first 24 hours of a fast, the body uses up glycogen stores. After that, it starts producing ketones, and the brain smoothly shifts to using them for energy, sparing muscle as much as possible. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway four, autophagy is the body's repair system. One of the strongest benefits of fasting, according to Dr. Goldhamer, is the process called autophagy. This is when the body cleans up damaged cells, unwanted proteins, and even some cancer cells. It is like a deep cleaning system that only switches on fully during fasting. Studies in rodents have shown that fasting or even calorie restriction can extend lifespan by 30 to 100% because it prevents the damage that comes from overeating. Dr. Goldhamer said it is not that fasting makes animals live longer, but that constant overeating makes them live shorter. For example, when rats are fed freely, they become overweight and live less time. But when the same rats are fasted regularly, they maintain a healthier weight and live much longer without changing the actual food. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway five, fasting burns belly fat first. Dr. Goldhamer explained that not all fat is the same. The fat that collects around the organs, known as visceral fat, is the most dangerous because it releases chemicals that cause inflammation. This inflammation is linked to heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. Fasting targets this fat first. He said that in his clinic, People who fast for two weeks lose about 10% of their overall body weight, but they lose about 40% of their visceral fat. This is why fasting can quickly improve conditions like high blood pressure or diabetes. For example, a woman who came to True North with painful joints and rising blood sugar fasted for 20 days. 
She lost a large amount of belly fat, her joint pain disappeared, and her blood sugar returned to normal levels without any medication. We're halfway through the video. Thanks for sticking with us. If you're enjoying it, hit the thumbs up and share it in your WhatsApp groups. If you'd like to support us, please tap the thanks button below. It helps us keep making great content. Drop a comment and don't forget to hit subscribe for more. Now let's continue with the video. Takeaway six, the gut gets a complete reset. Another benefit Dr. Goldhamer described is how fasting resets the gut microbiome. When you stop eating, the number of bacteria in your gut drops, which allows the system to rebuild from a cleaner state once you start eating again. This is especially important for diseases connected to digestion, like Crohn's disease, colitis, and even constipation. But the impact goes beyond the gut. Since most of the body's serotonin and dopamine is produced in the intestines, a reset can also improve mood and mental clarity. For example, Dr. Goldhamer mentioned a study where people who fasted for seven days saw harmful bacteria drop by more than 80%. And when they started eating healthy foods again, beneficial bacteria grew back stronger. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway seven, fasting helps weight loss naturally. Although Dr. Goldhamer stressed that fasting is much more than a weight loss method, he admitted it can be a very efficient way to remove excess pounds. Patients lose about one pound per day during a fast, and the weight loss tends to stay off if they continue eating properly afterward. He gave the example of a patient who was 20 pounds overweight and thought her best weight was 150 pounds. She fasted for three weeks, lost the extra weight, and returned home with better blood sugar and lower inflammation. The goal is not to get thin, but to remove the excess fat that harms the body and to stabilize metabolism for the long term. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway eight, fasting sharpens the mind and discipline. Dr. Goldhamer said fasting is not only about the body, but also about the mind. People who go through a fast often discover they can think more clearly, their mood improves, and they feel less anxious about missing meals. It also teaches discipline. He compared it to athletes who learn that discomfort can sometimes lead to growth rather than being something to avoid. Fasting resets dopamine levels, which makes natural foods taste good again. For example, he spoke about a man who was addicted to fast food and salty snacks. After fasting, the man no longer craved those foods, and even simple steamed vegetables tasted delicious to him. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway 9. Long fasts must be supervised. While short fasts of one day or even up to a week can often be done safely, Dr. Goldhamer warned that long fasts need medical supervision. Water-only fasts of 20 to 40 days can create risks such as dehydration, low electrolytes, or dangerous refeeding if food is reintroduced too quickly. He said only about 1% of patients in his clinic go beyond 40 days, and those who do are monitored daily with blood tests and checkups. For example, one man fasted for 30 days and had to be slowly reintroduced to food with juices and vegetables over two weeks to avoid refeeding problems. Without supervision, such a fast could have been life-threatening. Now let's move to the last takeaway. Takeaway 10, even healthy people can benefit. Dr. Goldhamer explained that fasting is not only for those who are sick, healthy people can benefit too. A simple daily routine of 12 hours without food gives the body a chance to recover every day. In addition, short annual fasts of 5 to 10 days can improve blood pressure, lower cholesterol, and clear the mind even for those who already feel healthy. He pointed out that many people think they are healthy, but when their markers are tested, only a small percentage are truly in the optimal range. For example, a man who came for a 5-day fast believing he had no health issues discovered afterward that his cholesterol and inflammation levels were lower than ever before, which greatly reduced his long-term risk of illness. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support this channel, hit the thanks button below. It really helps us keep going. If you enjoyed this summary, please leave a like and share it in your WhatsApp groups. To join discussion about this video, drop a comment below. And for more videos like this, hit the subscribe button below.